When the world gets loud, I lose my voice. My emotional voice, that is. I have no words. I am speechless, hand over my mouth, eyes wide and pleading, with nothing left to say. Sometimes the silence lasts so long, I wonder if I will simply cease to be. Wordless, withdrawn, hermit, lost to time that I am. How can one exist in this world of platforms and things that we always have to say with no voice? How can one think but not express those thoughts? I feel as if I do not fit into the very age that I was born into. But what if this is the modern curse? Millions of words swirling all around us, tweets and grams, and yet there is really nothing of importance left to say. Expectation. The expectation can cripple me. Because we have these bully pulpits, these platforms granted from the Wahlbergs on high, we think that the entire world deserves, nay, recognizes and understands our inmost thoughts. I assure you, it does not. This culture has proved unworthy, and yet we court its favor. But then how do I find my way back again? When I lose my voice, how do I find a way back to that deepest longing of my heart? The expression to be known and to be understood. Well, I find it not unlike a pirate hunting treasure. I take solace in books, art, music. I find quotes that resonate. Quotes about love and loss and art and the meaning of our brief time on this wildly spinning globe. I take comfort in other people's words, wrapping them around me like my grandmother's quotes. I nod my head in understanding. I copy them out in longhand, scrawl them on index cards, the back of receipts, my commonplace journal. The words of Lewis and Tolkien and Austin and Smith help me find my way back to my own words. Until one day, like a quiet spring awakening, I feel that I have something to say. I have once again found my voice. Any perches on the side. That's Thank you for watching, gentle friends. I hope that you also are able to find your voice today and every